we in this welcome back special edition non-sponsored even though we got the easy shave butter yeah. so check this out i ain't shaved in two weeks bruh but we gonna make it happen so the idea here is what performs better the Dollar Shave Club or the Braun 900 series. So we're talking, uh, you know, a cost of about 333 bucks for this little uh, fancy little kit here, right? Yeah, it looks a little fancy, a little futuristic. It is what it is. Self-cleaning kit, blah, 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 versus the easy shave. So, here we go. Got a nice little welcome kit. Welcome to your better bathroom day to day every day. This is non-sponsored, by the way. They give you a nice little handbook. What do we got, what do we got? My dear member, blah, blah, blah. Here, you can screenshot that. You can screenshot that. I went with the big boy. Uh, how it works. Your next box, that must be that over there. And, huh, really? Really? Oh, that's cool. They got their whole team set up. That's cool, that's cool. That's cool. That's cool. I am inspired, bro. <laughs> cool. What do we got on the back? Oh, nothing. Nice. This reminds me of uh, Pirates of the Caribbean type uh, parchment paper. Not saying. Except for this last page. What is this? Welcome to the club. Oh, Jesus. Okay. So. That's that. What else we got in the box? Ooh, we got another little plant fit. Easy shit, Dr. Cavus. Easy shave water. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not using that. Please. Oh, we got a bathroom uh, minutes thing. This is interesting. I don't know what this is. Oh, it's like a little, uh, little booklet thing. Hmm. Boomtown, don't care. Comic books, I guess, don't care. Ask Mike, I don't know who Mike is. Get the F out of here. I like the reddish, pinkish, solar reddish theme going on here. This is my favorite color. Slow burn, whatever. Yeah, I don't know why. Yo, am I paying for this? Cause yo, cut this shit out and give me a cheaper razor. How about that? Yeah, Rim Reaper AF member spotlight. Again, I don't care. I mean, it's nice. I'm glad you included it for the cost, but how about a cheaper razor and none of this extra garbage? Oh, they actually do include the shape. Butter. That's kind of cool. Okay, okay. Yeah, you know, I might actually use this. We'll see. And then we get have a nice cut of beef. Oh, nice catchphrase. Uh, we'll open that in a second. And then the razor. Very nice handle. It's a nice. I like. It's a nice. And then, of course, maybe my favorite part of the whole package: this little uh, parchment that's a little perforated. But uh, yeah, let's uh, let's unpack a razor and we'll be right back after all these messages. I can feel the tension in the air. <laughs> Check it, it's actually fairly easy. You just gotta hit them with the bop. Got them. So they hit you with the four razors. I'm gonna hit one, bop. Boom, what it do, cuz? It's pretty slick. Or how many uh, bars? One, two, three, four, five, six. We in the six. All right, so we're gonna leave this aside. I'm gonna do a half 
and half comparison for y'all. So first off with this, let me tell you, I've been using this for a while. And what I want to tell you about this guy, I'm gonna tell you straight up. First off, this really is awful at this area. And uh, I actually had a little hole right about there. And uh, it's actually growing back in quite nicely, but I tried doing it dry. I tried doing it wet and with wet, don't do it wet with the Braun 900 because uh, it's going to get you. So uh, let me show you what this looks like live. Now I will say there is an advantage to this. You can do the little bop. You know what? We're just going to trim this up real quick and we'll be right back after these messages. Farmer's Market. Special two plums for one. <laughs> all right, we in this. Y'all see this. It's all, uh, you know, a little bit cleaned up. But, uh, you know, for the sake of science, you got to have a controlled experiment. Both sides got to be equal. So now that we've trimmed it down, we're going to check this side with the shaver and the other side with the razor. We'll see what happens. So uh, let me fast forward through this part. All right, so already some criticisms. Well, first of all, I'm the Terminator. I'm from the future. One thing you'll notice is this head is supposed to swivel. And when you pull it up, it's supposed to be very mobile. And when you put it down, it's supposed to be very fixed. But as you can see, it's not very fixed. So when I do that, it don't get, it don't stay fixed. Anyway, but uh, besides that point, what I really don't like is this area still ain't clean shaven. I don't know if it's easy for y'all to tell or not, but I got a lot of scragglers right here. So what ends up happening is I end up having to go through with a razor afterwards. So I really don't like that. So I think you can already guess what's gonna go on on this side. I'm gonna get the best shave of my life right here. So uh, let's jump forward. So this is the Dr. Kavi's Easy Shave of Butter. Take a little dab of that. Ooh, hey, yo. What it do, girl? Got him. Um, Get a little bit of that. Oh, that is cold. Oh. Which, by the way, um, this is not for your entertainment. This is for my future son. Uh, I'm gonna teach you how to shave. Boah. But if for whatever reason I end up not having children slash boys that shave, uh, this is for your entertainment. We out. Peace. Time to put the razor to the test. I can feel it. So I'm going with the grain right now, as I believe you should always do first to prevent bleeding. But to be honest, bleeding is inevitable, especially with my skin, so take notes. Cleaning up this, the amount of I hear means that that razor didn't do no good job. Now I'm saying word. So this kind of cleans it up. Now I'm saying. So we're going to clean that up and then we'll come back, clean this guy up. So I really didn't do a fair comparison because I've already like, you know, shaved this out of my face. But I mean, we already know what was going to happen here. Listen, I got bad skin. I would normally recommend you just shave in the shower. Uh, really helps the steam, the the, you know, the moisture. But uh, you know, not too bad. It's a really clean shave. I can't really uh, you know hate too much compared to previous razors. But uh, you know, a few bleeding spots here and there that'll go away. But uh, overall, nice clean shave. Uh, the only thing I would say is um, convenience. So it's kind of nice that we have an option to get razors shipped to your house now. You don't gotta go out and buy them anymore. So for that reason alone, I'm gonna go with the uh, Dallas Shave Club, the Braun 9000 
series. Uh, you know, kind of a disappointment. Ain't gonna lie. It's nice and fancy. It'll impress people when you when they show up to your bathroom. Yeah. But uh, other than that, it's uh, eh, you gotta replace the razor every. You know, you gotta replace the shaver every uh, 18 months or so. It doesn't give you the cleanest shave. You know, I, I thought I was gonna use it as like an everyday shaver, but I really use it once a week because I'm lazy and I also look good with a little bit of a shadow. So, you know, it's kind of defeating the whole purpose. So, uh, itty woody with that said, Dollar Shave Club, keep doing your thing. Bye bye, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. We out. Peace.